Hey guys, it's FIFA right here and welcome to episode 64 of Let's FIFA 13 And we start this episode off by going into the final of the Gold Cup Going with the Silver Gold side And when you get into these later rounds of the Gold Tournament It can sometimes be a little bit difficult to pick out an opponent But I will eventually find one who does have a, a pretty nice Borussia Dortmund side here uh, And uh, all the players that does link with each other, but a few is out of position and formation. And we will get the game started in the third minute. Quite lucky with Neymar here. Uh, he will make his way into the box, going past a few defenders. Nice stuff, and it's 1-0. So a very good start to the game. But we get into the 60th minute, and he will manage to find Royce there to make it 1-1. And uh, just a few minutes later, he will find Royce once again. I pick up the ball, but he picks it up as well to make it 2-1. So not looking too good that late in the game. Uh, I, but I will push back here with the slot and going past two defenders and nice stuff and getting a shot in and in the end it goes out for a corner and straight from the corner Canu is there to make it 2-2 on the bison kick very nice goal and then it's into extra time and look at this this would have been a really awesome goal if the keeper hadn't saved that one and then in the second half of extra time, it's slots and he will not leave the pitch without getting a goal into the top net there to make it 3-2. I win the trophy, I win the 2,000 coins, and I was quite happy about that. And then we go into the round of 16 with the same side, and we will find opponents straight away. And then not the best of chemistry, but a lot of paces, uh, players in that side. Uh, and it is in the ninth minute that I get my first chance here with Neymar making his way into the box Going with the in-air rainbow to find Slatan. and how do you miss that one? I'm not sure but he will make up for that taking it straight from the goal kick and nice stuff here to go past the keeper and a cheeky roulette finish there Looking pretty good and we can watch the replay of that one and then we get into the 20th minute He runs a bit away and uh, the skill moves here does end up looking a bit stupid, but it does manage to go past the two defenders and get a shot in, but it is a save. And then he will manage to get a goal here with the Muriel getting a little bit too much space, and it's 1-1. And we get into the second half, and uh, he somehow gets the ball here. Uh, he takes the shot, and it ends up at uh, Obama Young, and he scores a really nice bicycle kick goal there. And we can watch the replay of that one as well. Looked pretty good, despite him being a little bit lucky. But I will, of course, push back with some of the simple skill moves there to make it 2-2. And then in the 90th minute, on the counter with a Ferrati passing it, and he will get the ball pause the game. And for some reason, he decides to leave the match. I'm not quite sure why, but the match didn't count for anything. Not a loss, not a draw, not a win. So we go into the round of 16 for once again, but this time around with our goal side. And uh, we will link, uh, match up against a 5 at the back, a very pacey side, uh, two very defensive minded uh, midfielders. So that meant he would pretty much just uh, go on the counter the entire game. And here you see my defender getting pushed a little bit out of the box, and that means he does have a lot of space to cross it in. And he will take that opportunity to make it 1 0. And he had a very bad uh, finish from McGeady, and I hope that one had went into the top corner. But I will get lucky here with Ribery to make it 1 1, getting back in the game. But it was a very difficult game. I couldn't break down his 5 at the back and the two very defensive center mids and in the end it is him hitting me on the counter here with Morales pacing down pacing down the wing he will run all the way into the box pass it across to find a Teode and it's a 2-1 and now look at this celebration just running around and in the end he will actually go with the I can't hear you celebration quite frustrating yeah, to give up a goal that late in the game and it does mean I lose the game at 2-1 and it seems like in every episode I do have trouble in the round of 16th and after that I just make my way into the final for some reason I'm not quite sure what there is, that it, there is with this round of 16th but we go into it for the third time and we come up against a non rare Spanish uh, La Liga side there and uh, we will get quite lucky here in the 28th minute I'm not quite sure how this is a penalty, but we will take it to make it 1-0 with Ribery. And we will actually get a chance a few minutes later. Nice stuff here from Ribery making his way into the box. Should probably have went the other way around the defender to get in a better position for a shot. And in the end, this is an offside. And here you see the halftime stats. He was a very patient player passing the ball around, but he did never get a shot in on goal. And I only had the two chances which you saw. But in the second half, I will get a few more chances. I fail a bit on the skill moves here, and he will pick it up with the keeper. And then in the 71st minute, I will find Elgerson a panner there with the fake shot. Takes out another one with the Elastico, and it's a 2-0. A nice goal there by Elgerson, and that will be the score of the game. A 2-0, and uh, he pretty much didn't have many shots on goal. I believe he had two in the entire game. Uh, but moving into the quarterfinals, we go with the silver side. 
and I will actually match up against a subscriber and he does have a Lamella and Rubinho in the side to do a few skill moves and a pretty nice side he had there and he will get the game started in the 18th minute over the top ball to Mule he gets to the ball and it's 1-0 and uh, he will actually uh, get a, somehow get a free kick here. I'm not quite sure how this is a free kick. And I'm not quite sure how Dede gets a yellow card for this uh, challenge. But a free kick it is. And uh, he will step up to that. And uh, he takes it with Morales. It does hit the wall and goes out for a corner. And now look at this. I thought, hey, that's my corner set piece. Uh, he has a lot of players inside the goal and they will run away from the box. A bicycle kick there. Nice stuff. It was pretty cool to see he actually used that one as well. Uh, so pretty cool stuff there. But I will push back in the 31st minute here with Ibrahimovic to make it 1-1. And as I said, he does not leave the pitch without getting a goal. Uh, and Lamella, he will get a goal for him uh, to make it 2-1. But straight uh, in from the start of the second half, nice stuff here from Fed Facetis. Trying to make his way into the box. Getting quite lucky to pick the ball up here. And in the end, it's a shot in on goal. And it is uh, Quincy picking it up. Getting across it in the end. And it is once again Fed Facetis hitting the post. And then in the end, it is an offside goal. But we will find Fed Facetis a few minutes later. Nice stuff here out on the wing. Taking out two defenders. Making his way into the box. And it's a 2-2 back in the game. And then I use my corner set piece. But he will save that one. And in the end I will pick up a free kick. And this is the perfect distance for Slatan to take the free kick. So I won't be taking the free kick quickly. I'll wait until I get the free kick. And you see him putting a player on the line. And I thought it should have chipped it over the wall. But then he moves him away. And in the end, I decide, let's let's take the shot. Let's see if I can get the goal here this late in the game. So Slatan, he steps up and he will make it 3-2 there to win the game for me. And this was a very enjoyable game to play. He was a pretty good player and he did skill moves as well. So a quite fun game to play. And that will pretty much be the end of this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you later.